What's going on, Rhode Island, Rhode Island? Kevin Baker with KRB Renovations. We're here in Rhode Island, the yachting capital of the world, and we're here to work on yachts. Figure that. One thing about this place is it is gorgeous. It ain't hot like Texas, 110,000 degrees. This is a beautiful state. I might just stay. Why do we know it's the yachting capital of the world? They have a sailboat at the airport. How about that? It gets even better. We got a little history going on here too. Do you think things have come a long way since the wooden ships? This is not Noah's Ark, just so you know. But it looks like it, but it's not Noah's Ark. Guess how many bungs are actually in this boat? You win a prize or something. That's crazy. But man, you drive it like a, like a car. I wonder if this is a taxi or something. That'd be cool. A little engine compartment. Isn't that cool? Love that. All right, we're gonna head to the, uh, the dry dock and we have got a cool little presentation for you. We've got one of our, one of our customers, or we, we just surprised them and said, so we're just gonna show up and we're gonna do the installation for them. How about that? Let's go. All right, a little bit about what we're gonna be doing today as we're driving to see the Marshalls, the Marshall family. They have a uh, boat that Mr. Marshall grew up with and they're gonna restore it and refit it, maybe make it even a little bit better. It's currently a dry dock and they've been doing a lot of the renovations themselves. And their plan is they're gonna try and splash her in August, I think, of this year and they're going to take it down and spend quite a bit of time in the Bahamas or the Caribbean. Number one destination spot for sailing in the world. But uh, we're going to surprise them. They don't, they don't know we're coming just yet. And they are going to be so excited to see something that they've never seen before. I'm excited. I love doing this for a living. This is just one of my favorite things to do. Since we're going to be doing a galley, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do a galley. I like my top three. You either have a galley that you want to keep traditional, very, very true to the boat's history. Not really my favorite, but I get it. Number two is you can do something contemporary, which is gonna make it cleaner. You're gonna make it more updated. Or I like to do something that's completely innovative. I, I like a big galley. I love to cook. I like my room, I like my space, I like my storage. The best place I think in today's boat world is, with all the advents of the electronics, there's really no need for that navigation station. I mean, the nav station, to me, just my personal opinion, is sort of outdated. It's just a place to sit and store crap. So I'd like to turn that into the galley. That would be my wine storage, my wine fridge. Use that as, as a space for additional galley accoutrement if you will I like that idea but some people have to have that they want to do the charts I think if you're gonna to to throw a chart down sit down at the table throw the chart out get the big chart if your navs go down go old school get your slide reel out and go to town but there's no need for me with today's backup generators backup iPads backup to so get Starlink coming in why not use every inch of that boat for what you want that's my suggestion. You mean to me, you mean to me, if you could only see. home home uh, granite installation right. which I've done before the so the least invasive so we can go we know our, our panels are going to be four so we go 48 well you definitely don't want one right there I, I'm saying right there that's one and that's one okay. for today yeah okay, okay. <clears throat> this is gonna be a no this is gonna be a no-brainer gonna keep it I think it's I think it's epoxy now unfortunately so I'm not positive on that Okay, does your sink go butt up against this? 
Uh, it did, but I think we're, we're kind of thinking about replacing that sink. The option here is when you're thinking about replacing it, you're going to get one opportunity to cut that hole. Right. So unless you're going to get the exact same hole size sink, you can go bigger, you just can't go smaller. Yeah. Well, I see right. This is how we're going to template. This is a gimbaled oven, gimbaled stove. You have the oven and oven stove combo? It is coming from Great Britain. Really? Yeah, I got one of those uh, Ocean Chef. Have you ever seen one? I've heard of it, I've never yeah. seen one. I haven't seen one either. Yeah, I had to get something. All those compact marine stoves will not fit in that space. So I had to find something that fit. And wow. Well, this is our template material we use. And it's magic. I've never seen it. We're going to template out. We're going to template this out so easily. We're not even going to use a measuring tape at all. You guys don't believe that, but it's true. Actually, maybe I have well, yeah. With, yeah, but the thing about that wood, it becomes rigid right. and you can't get it out of the gangway. Right, right. Here, it's going to fold up like a, like a pretzel. Wall, like it can go on wall. anything, anything, anything at all. So that much in, in the bottle. We're from Texas and we're here in beautiful Rhode Island. It's about the size of my neighborhood in Texas. But I love Rhode Island. The weather is amazing, amazing. I, I'm not even joking. I'm not sure I wanna go back to Texas until winter hits, of course. Then, then we'll go back to Texas. Which, teach one, do one, okay? okay? And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna say, uh, we now know this, this piece is for this rim. So we know we're going to augment. We're going to show how to augment that because it's actually going to come out. Right. Now you can, you can, we can work it in that we, the way that we're going to hide this, we can add something to it. And then this comes up to here and you don't see it. Right. right, right. And then this is removable okay. and then it's pop. And so that's, that's one method. But the, whenever we get it templated and we see what it's going to look like, you'll have you'll know your options even more clearly. Okay. All right. So each one of each each phase of the template stage is this is going to create an edge. That one's going to create an edge. So I, you see, I'm not going all the way to it. I can. I don't have to. I, I can just get close because the next piece that goes over is going to be the actual edge, right? Right. Okay. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to come all the way down to here's where we're going to make the turn. I'm going to, I've got two options. I can come all the way f out this way because all we want to do is make sure that this is a 90, right? I'm going to come, well, I don't have to get this edge, right? Because we already have that. So I just need to go make sure that I can glue them together. I'm going to get that corner. This looks about, about right here. So he's making a template. Snap it, right? So there we go. So we got our edge there. Double check. I like to do this. I like to go to the edge and come down here inside. And that's what we're going to do. And now the magic happens, right? You guys are going to love this. Make sure this is in place where it goes. You've got a very short span of working time to do this. I like to put everything in place, double check it, then bring this up, hold it with my hand up. We're going to test squirt. Spray it down, and that's it. Ah. And it welds cool. it together. Hmm. Okay. Then we just do the same thing over and over again. So we got now we're just drawing a line. We're drawing all the way over here, all the way to somewhere right in here, because we know we have another piece to weld to, right? So it doesn't really matter. So we're gonna go. Uh, let's go right there. Okay. Now a lot of this, we're gonna. It's good. This is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Where am I going? learning material we know that's going there right now this is a good example is there such a thing as a straight line in a boat not so much yeah not on this boat not on any boat i don't i don't care where you go is there a straight line in your boat raise your hand where this is touching right but yet you still see this minuscule 16th of an inch yep. i'm going to show you how to fix that for the for templating okay okay so we're good right there we're good right there we're going to put this down. 
So the next, we know this is in our place. We, we're going against, see with this back edge. Mm -hmm. Now, there are those who believe that they're going to use caulk, and there are those that say, I don't want any caulk. Which one are you? Uh, I would use caulk. Right okay. Sink area. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so you that would be the I'm best. That. That'd be the best one. So yeah. see how this you can you can run your hand like this and you'll feel this elevate right here. Go ahead. Now when you when you spray this, make sure you don't spray it where the spray hits you bending it because mm -hmm. it disintegrates this like that. Got it. Okay. And it it becomes weak. So you just simply just pop it right there. Pop it down and just hold it. One, two, three, four, and mm. we're welded. That's awesome. Okay. We're welded down. So you you continue on the same same way here. Mm -hmm. You can see where this is this is a. Uh, it's not there. perfectly straight. Caulk it, right? I would caulk it, but if you if you really want to, you can use a new piece. You can use, take this off, use a new piece, and see if that's any better. Which it's. Oh, because it's not cut yet. Yeah, yeah, it's not cut yet. See now you can also you. Can, but the cool thing is when you when you draw that line because you're this is the line that's going to be drawn. And I'm going to show you how to create a perfect template for every single piece. Okay. okay. Right there. I got it. And we'll just. You're good. You're good. Put it right down. Put it in the place, and you've got a few seconds. And you're done. Okay. Now you want to tape this down so it doesn't jack around, move around with you. Yes, you too can learn how to template in five minutes. Five minutes, all it takes. You're not even using a ruler, right? No. But you're getting a perfect exact match. This is rounded. Now we'll make a note with um, masking tape. Mm -hmm. And then you will use white silicone caulk. Mm -hmm. And it will be white. And it matches all the other sil white, right? right? Yeah. And then you, or better yet, better yet you tape the product. We can take the product itself and take high gloss, white enamel paint, paint the edge, sand it smooth, so it's nice and smooth. We can even round it with a, with a hand sander. Yeah. And then paint just this section and you're done. Okay. Then you can you can take some polyurethane or something and just brush I've on the air. I've got some 545 mixed up. That's what we do. Okay. That's, that's a great, now right here you can, let's cut it that way down that line. And you snap on, yeah, there you go. And then we'll do another, then we'll just do a straight edge, just fine. So that's gonna be simple for you here. There. You can use that piece, okay. We got lots of pieces over here. You mean for, for this year, or you do? I wouldn't use this as part of that. Okay. You can use whatever you want. See, that's got a wrap. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could, I can show you how to do that. That's how we do that right there. That's key. Here, mm -hmm. we can just put a little piece, and that's that's our dental. He's awesome. He can he can come for work with KRB Enterprises at any time. <laughs> Some things unboxed, and we'll uh, we're, first we're going to do is template the way down, create, and then remove that bottom piece, and then slide it in. Right. The only way we're going to be able to slide it in is to take this piece off. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And then it's going to have an edge on this side. So right. just go ahead and bring it all the way over the wall. Yeah. It's just here and here that we have that issue. So, And here you wanted me to just. Yep. You're going to have to dental mold that. Yeah. Okay. Or just, just just take your scissors and cut her. Yeah. Cut. That's what I was going to try. That's pro it works. It works really well. Okay. It does. It may take you once or twice. It's about almost, almost a 16.
wherever you can't like that's almost bad that's, so here All right, it is at the end of the work day here in Rhode Island. It is absolutely gorgeous here. I love, I, I, would, I would stay here forever. Um, we just finished cool, cool installation. We've got three four by four panels that we installed and basically Brendan did, did the work. Now, some of you have said, and you've had, I, I read the comments, believe me, I read the comments. It's like, oh, you have to be a carpenter to do that. Is that true? Not at all. Yeah. So, what did, what was your experience today? Since you templated, you cut, you, you sanded. Well, um, you know, the first one you get a little guidance, and then I feel like it, it just starts, you know, flowing from there. It's it's pretty simple. It's all very straightforward. Even a kid can do it because I'm a kid. He's not. Now he's a captain, actually, right? Yep. Captain got a six pack, right. and he's got two six packs. One here, and actually one he carries in his wallet, but. It's not hard, folks. And the name of the boat is? Seahawk. Seahawk. Seahawk has some new countertops, and they are my favorite color of all time. And you all know what that is. What is it? Pure white. Pure white. Pure white. And one more thing. You buy some panels for your boat, or for your house, your shower, your backsplash, you never know who might just deliver them and help you put them in. Catch us next time and refits and renovations. I'm Kevin Baker. This is Brendan. This is Seahawk. Bye, Benny. <laughs>